طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبنستعين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيد الخلق أجمعين آه بسم الله نبدأ the fourth lecture in the series of approach to mammography today we are going to talk about uh, mammographic views and optimizing diagnostic imaging quality Why is stuck? Okay. Type. We are going to start with uh, mammographic views. Sorry, one minute. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between this image? What does the image represent? Any suggestion? Hint, where are you? Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, in image A, there is proper positioning. They have pulled the breast outward uh, with excellent technique to show the tissues of the breast out of the um, implant, while in B, um, some of the breast tissue is uh, hidden by the breast uh, implant, saline implant. So, uh, mm -hmm. image B, saline implant, and image A is? Um, uh, the other type of uh, the silicone implant. Silicone implant. These are implant MLO mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. uh, breast with implants. Mm -hmm. The dense one in image A is silicone, and the low density one on image B is saline. And you can see here, mm -hmm. what is this? It's, this is the valve. Not the implant. It's the port, yeah. Okay, so as you know, mammogram usually performed in erect position, the patient on standing, but depend on the patient position, we can do it also in a sitting position. And the breast, uh, you put the breast between, how the technologist put the breast between two plates, the detector, and here the x-rays uh, coming and can also use the bending positions or lying flat brown position, the bend. And what are these? Mm -hmm. These are the standard mammographic views. Yes, excellent. So, these are standard mammographic views. These are right and left MLO and right and left CC view, which are the standard mammographic views. Okay. So, these are modern machine. Who is modern machine helping us angulation and doing all these procedure much easier than before. And as we said, the standard techniques or the standard mammographic views are craniocodal. That means the X-ray coming from up down, the breast is lying flat here from up down, and mediolateral oblique, the breast is putting between the plate in oblique position prior to the pectoralis muscles, and X-ray coming from the medial going for the lateral aspects. And as you know, the press is mobile structures. And the principles for positioning, the mammography is to move the mobile tissue toward the fixed one. Because we like usually and uh, to make it 
a little bit immobile structures, okay, while doing the, the mammography or the X-ray. And to avoid moving, we are using the compression paddle, as you have seen up, against the fixed tissue. So you know that the breast is more mobile where more laterally or inferiorly mobile and relatively fixed superior and medial. So usually we are pushing the breast from lateral and inferior toward the more fixed region, which are superior and medial to make it more stabilized and <clears throat> to avoid motion uh, uh, artifacts and these uh, issues. And <clears throat> although that usually the breast tissue in this shaded region, but as you know, there are variations. It might extend up to the clavicle, to the mid line or to the mid axillary line. See, uh, the breast tissue might extend to these areas. If no well-adjusted accessory tissues under the arm or these regions might be missed during uh, examination and can be excluded from the view of the mammography. And why mammography uh, perform as two views. Why not single view is enough? Why it is recommended to be a two views, MLO and CC view? Uh, to cover uh, an area what uh, done by, by one, a view like axillary area mm -hmm. not covered by skeletal view. Mm -hmm. uh, also, to, there is uh, something like focal asymmetry uh, pathology, like focal asymmetry. Uh, we see it in one view and miss it in other view. So Except to characterize the condition of the breast, more pathology of the breast. Yes, the breast, yes. The breast, the reason mammography is doing two views to represent as a, yani, a two-dimensional representation of three-dimensional structures. You see, as you have seen here, looking from two different views as if it is making it a, a, a three dimensions, but it is not exactly as a, a representation of the earth. Also, as you have seen here, on the CC view, the milk of calcification, but on the orthogonal view or erect view, it is usually give layering. That is why they call it layering. In the current uh, Edition, they are uh, they call the milk of particular image. It give a layer in a teacup appearance or uh, curvilinear or teardrop or whatever, but give a, a a level. Okay, so we make use of two different views to characterize this type of benign calcification. And this is our patient here. You can see these two large cancers in the axillary tail seen on the MLO view, but missed on the CC view. So two image or two views increase sensitivity and detection of breast, sensitivity of mammography and detection of breast cancer. Again, here you can see this is only part of of a leash, part of which could be seen here was not seen on the other view as another examples you can see here and usually expected the lesion on the medial cc view to be missed on 
It's especially in the extreme posterior medial breast, usually it is um, outside of uh, the field of MLO uh, technique or MLO uh, view. And that is why here, only tiny or retrospect, you can appreciate it on the MLO. Especially, it is not a perfect, it is not an adequate mammography because there is the length of pectoralis is a little bit short. Again, in one view, there is a finding, suspicious findings appear benign in the other uh, view, but in this view, it looks like a suspicious. And that is why two projections quarter of the cancer can be missed or can be overlooked with a single view and the breast tissue uh, can be missed in one view to be covered in the other view and two view mammography combining the MLO and complementary CC projection create a three-dimensional representation of the breast as we mentioned before and that is uh, allow for visualization of breast pathology with increased sensitivity and air detection of breast cancer. And this will reduce the incidence of interval cancer. Similarly, mammographic features that appear benign in one projection might appear suspicious on the other. Okay, so why? oblique view, the medulateral oblique view. Why they are doing it? Medulateral oblique view. Why it is not the reverse? Why it is not lateral view? What they, they are making an oblique and in that direction. Mm -hmm. Because at this site, uh, most of the cancers are present. Uh, the most, Excellent, uh, well done. The location, yes. To make the lateral aspect close to the detector, okay? So it will improve the visualization of the lesions. This is one issue. Because mo this is the uh, maximum location for breast cancer. What else? Why it is an oblique? Why they can do it just uh, medulateral? And still the lateral view on the, in, 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 close to the detector. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because the anatomy, the anatomy of the breast, the breast is resting onto or into the pectoralis major muscles, which influence the imaging uh, of the breast. And the close, yani, uh, the breast tissue is closely applied to the breast, to, to the muscles. And some can be seen through, even through the muscles. When emit the, the MLO, you can sometimes see some of the breast tissue through the muscles. And if you look here, some of the breast even can be kept lateral to the pectoralis major muscles. In, th in this case, they remove it. Uh, surgically removed the same tissue in the contralateral look for the breast is a smaller due to previous surgery. Previous wide local excisions, some tissue removed in the left breast. But if you look here, the breast is going lateral to the pectoralis muscle. And this orientation uh, uh, make the plane of compression parallel to the pectoralis muscles facilitate to visualize the maximum breast tissue into the image. And if you look here, 
we can ask Sarah to tell us about this image. Are you there, Sarah? Sarah, not Sarah El Mac, Sarah Al Faki. She left or she's there? Okay. Uh, this is our job and Afra. Look, they are putting their hand here. You see at the side where in the corner of latissimus dorsi and pectoralis. You see here she's raising to put the detector, you see parallel to the pectoralis muscle, the corner of the detector is putting there and resting the arm. And then you see compress suppressed in that directions. This permit maximum traction, maximum pulling of the breast, okay? And maximum traction of the breast to be compressed, more comfortable in these directions, and will ensure that inclusions of most of the breast tissue in that view. When it is aligned perpendicular, along the axis uh, perpendicular, the blade perpendicular, uh, the, the breast plate aligned perpendicular to the long axis of the pectoralis muscles. And can you see it here? Again, the same. And the press and the, the direction of X-ray coming from where? It is medial lateral. So mm -hmm. the detector, it will be on the lateral aspect in oblique directions and the radiation coming from the medial aspect. And the angle is variable. Yes, when we say oblique, we expect to be 45 degree, but it is not always in all patients, it is 45 degrees. It depends on the uh, the habitus of uh, the, the body habitus of the patients can be for a range from 30 to 60. Okay. Uh-huh. And during MLO, a patient usually asked to lean forward also to ensure that as, as much as we can, the press tissue pulled from the chest wall, okay? And to relax the arm and elbow wide so as to relax the pectoralis muscles. If the pectoralis muscle contracted, it will pull back the the breast tissue to the chest wall. It will not help us to pull the breast tissue away from the chest wall, okay? And also we need to open the inframammary by pulling this breast, we need to open the inframammary uh, fault, okay? When you look here, is it an optimum MLO? We might say maybe yes, maybe a little bit, not maximum optimum, especially on the right side. Okay, a little bit narrow, the pectoralis muscles here, when they repeat, can you see? By pulling more, relaxing the pectoralis, look here, there is cancer deep posterior. As we said, some of the breast tissue can be seen through the pectoralis muscles because it can be extended even lateral to the pectoralis, to the pectoralis muscles. And in MLO, we need to visualize the axilla, the axillary tail, the inframammary fold, and with all prestige. 
then it will to be in profile, pectoral is muscle adequate, okay? And presence of inframammary angle, free, freely seen. We don't like to see skin folds or artifacts. And when both breast MLO putting together, preferable to see the V-shape of the pectoralis muscles. These are the cornerstone criteria for uh, going to the craniocaudal view. As you know, it is the second standard view. Uh, it ensures that the tissue missed on MLO to be covered on the CC view. It demonstrates much of the medial tissue as possible because medial tissue not usually completely covered on the MLO view. And it's accomplished with excessive exaggeration to the medial or lateral side. And nibble should be centered and, uh, in the middle of the detector, okay? And it should be, uh, make sure it is in profile, not tilted down or rolled down or tilted left or right. And we have to adjust according to the body, body habitus or patient habitus, okay? And the CC view demonstrate usually anterior, central, medial, and posterior medial portion of the breast that were poorly seen on MLO. The MLO demonstrate more the axillary tail and the lateral aspect of the breast and posterior breast much better than craniocaudal, but while the, these portions usually not well covered on MLO are compensating to be covered on CC view. But CC view is poor in visualization of the lateral breast tissue. As we said, the X-ray coming from up to down and the breast neutrally uh, lined on the detector. And if we could see the pectoralis muscles on the CC view, we'll ensure that, we'll ensure this is a chest wall. That means visualization of the whole press tissue uh, in the image. And there are criteria, we'll go through it later to analyze the quality of the CC view. Okay. On the CC view, it's preferable the patient to lean forward here to ensure that the whole breast is covered up to the chest wall. So there, there will be no missing of the superior uh, of the superior breast tissue or posterior breast tissue. In this case, look here, compare this with this one. The patient going back like this, part of the posterior and superior breast tissue might not be included into the image. And we, we have to make sure that even the breast is close as possible to the detector is not high or low the detector because it should also result in some uh, fault of the image. And here, the bottom of the breast has uh, to be supported. You see, look for the technologist supported the bottom of the breast to pull the breast, okay? To ensure that the deep and inferior portions of the breast is included into the image. Okay, what is the most single important view? This craniocaudal, mediolateral oblique, lateral, mediolateral, lateral medial, which one, if I ask you to select single view, if they, they want to do for the patient a single view, which one you are going to select and why? 
Who is talking? Me, Ana Huda, Salam Alaikum. Wa Alaikum, Salam, Rahmar, Rahmuda. Yes, you are right. Mediolateral oblique. Why? Uh, because most of the breast tissue is included and the axillary part or axillary Excellent. tail also included. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. The single most useful mammographic projection is MLO mm -hmm. because it provides the greatest amount of breast tissue in a single projection. Mm -hmm. yani the most useful and most uh, breast tissue to be included in a single projection, it will be in MLO view. And it offers the best opportunity to visualize the maximum amount of the breast tissue in a single projection, including the axillary tail, where the maximum location of breast cancer, and this is specially missed on the CC view. And it demonstrates also the maximum posterior and upper outer quadrant, where also the maximum locations of breast cancer. However, as we mentioned before, it distorts the anterior central and medial portions, which is completely or well covered on the CC view. Okay. What is the difference between these two images? And what is the significance of that? Mm -hmm. What is the difference? Um, Magnification? Mm -hmm. On the left is the venucodal view, and uh -huh. on the right one, medulateral oblique view. Uh -huh. I think the same image, but one is uh, magnification. Magnified, one on the right yeah. is yes. magnified. Yeah, 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 this is spot magnification view. This and a spot magnification view on the right for the same, same uh, image, same lesion seen on the CC view. If you compare here, you can see it more appreciable, more clearly than on this image. Okay. So what are what is the importance or what are the importances of additional or supplementary views to diagnostic accuracy? Mm -hmm. Why you are doing supplementary views? The margins to show more the margins of the, the legion, and if the okay. legion get more dense, if the legion get more dense or less dense when we compress it, mm -hmm. and yeah. the characterization of uh, calcification for suspicious yeah. features. Yes. What else? Um, some some legions could not be shown well. Uh, for example. Uh, seen in one view and not seen in the other view. Excellent, excellent. Regions uh, uh -huh. uh, in the medial, inferior, uh, medial lower quadrant, mid lower quadrant. Uh -huh. For example, we use for it uh, the valley view or the cleavage view. Excellent, well done. Uh -huh. Specific locations. Okay, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay, so we have technical reasons and we have diagnostic reasons, okay? The technical reasons, the, mam the mammography technologists or radiologists, they might find the technical challenges in the standard views that requiring additional views, which include motion, for example, blaring, motion artifacts, small calcification might be affected. So they might need to repeat the image for that. Not enough tissue, you see, if not completely covered 
if there is a skin fault or other artifacts affecting the image quality or prominent tissue in the axillary tail. You might see that this patient have still tissue in the axillary tail. You need to extend your view to see it well or not enough compression on the tissue. You see, you need to do further compression to make it clear. This regarding the technical reason. The diagnostic reason, they may be fined on one image or physical examination that prompt additional diagnostic view, like performing after using standard. standard. It, is, it should be performed after using the standard view, okay? You cannot just from the beginning ask for supplementary view. It has to do the standard view then to recommend or to ask for additional or supplementary view and may be useful to clarify a problem and might add more information. And this can be seen in the following scenarios. For a lump or palpable abnormality, okay, detected either on self-examination or annual clinician press examination for annual screening or in a symptomatic patients. When suspected abnormality on clinical examination, but mammography does not appreciate that uh, clinical palpable abnormality. So you might need to add uh, uh, supplementary views for that or for a finding is discovered on a screening mammogram, you need to do additional view to characterize it further. Or additional views sometimes needed to evaluate changes or suspected abnormality noted at current mammography. Or suspected abnormality seen on previous mammogram but not seen at current mammography. Magnifications are done to help look at tiny calcification, as you know, and for other reasons, characterization of small lesions, for example, it's margin and so, or for asymmetry, to make sure it is just superimposition tissue or a real asymmetry, or the patient who have been treated with breast cancer may also need additional supplementary view and get diagnostic mammography for the following five years after diagnosis. And whenever the reasons, the additional view are done with care to make sure the radiologist ultimately get the best information as possible. Okay. So what are the supplementary views? Give a suggestion for these views. There are many, many, many views for that, but yani, not all are routinely or commonly or usually used in the practice. Some are more used than the others. Mm -hmm. What are these additional or supplementary views? We said the standard views are just the MLO and CC. Other than this, all are additional views. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the spot compression and spot magnification, the yes. extended uh, the extended lateral view, rolling Excellent. view. Excellent. And the straight lateral, uh, yes. medilateral, either medial yeah. or lateral, mm -hmm. the uh, valley view, Excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is very Excellent. Well done. So, uh, special mammography view include magnification or spot compression views. Uh, these are most commonly used. Okay. Uh, I... Additional orientation or views image taken at different angles. 
uh, to better evaluate difficult areas like outer press, uh, the, like exaggerated CC views, inner exaggerated uh, medial CC uh, views or cleavage view, uh, retroareolar nipple in profile views, or skin lesion tangential views. The radiologist cannot simply rely on probably uh, or probability that summation of artifacts are causing are usually the cause of asymmetry. He has to make sure uh, by doing compression or rolling view or these views uh, to make sure this asymmetry is real or just uh, a pseudo lesions. And it also may fail to demonstrate a real malignancy in dense tissue because the lesion conspicuity in these dense is partly depend on the extent to which the abnormal tissue is pushed away from the lesions. In a dense press, if the, there is no good compression and this, there is no separation of the press tissue densities, you might miss underlying small cancers. Uh, can you see it here? In this case, this extremely dense breast on a spot magnification, look the, for the mass, how it appears, which can even on retrospect is difficult to be appreciated on the standard view. Okay, so as we mentioned, either we have the standard MLO and CC view, okay? And these are four views, usually, usually, usually performed in both screening and diagnostic view, but sometimes might do less than these four views, in which case, Okay. The, mm -hmm. I think if the patient has a legion which is painful with uh, mammography. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Depending on local policy, uh, less than 40 or less than 30, 40, 35, yeah, young ladies, they might do for them limited views sometimes or yeah, a follow up also, follow up mammography, you might do less than. Uh, six months follow up, you might select some views, you might not perform all of the views. You see, it depends on the local policies. And screening of uh, young ladies, also you might select some, uh, some views. It depends also on local policies. And as you mentioned, uh, if the patient having a recent surgery, you might not be able to do uh, full examination, you might limit your image or the page, sometimes even is difficult. The breast is really huge and even the detector, yani, you cannot make a compression for that breast or the breast is really painful. You might do one side and the other side, yani, difficult to do even all as uh, a whole or a single view. Yani you might do a single view or you might not do uh, any of the views for a single uh, breast. It depends on the clinical scenario. So as you mentioned these, here there is a list of the supplementary views and these highlighted uh, in yellows, which are commonly used during practice rather than the others. If we look here, this it looks like a zoom view, not a typical spot compression view, but it helps us also to visualize small lesions or it focus this small area. This can be applicable in the current digital mammography, but on uh, film mammography or conventional mammography, we cannot use it or we cannot do it. And this definitely is 
spot spot compression compression this is yeah this is spot compression you can see the body here you can see the body of compression so what is what is the cone compression view or hello i don't know it give me unstable i don't know what is that unstable we said this is the compression or cone view what are the other name for it for that view can you see here the technologies change the compression bottles see for using uh, another one for a smaller area of interest to do a compression or a magnification view compression with or without magnification not usually doing yani it is not necessarily to do compression with magnification compression can be performed without magnification or with magnification what are the reasons the reason to do a compression and what is the compression and how we can do the compression as we mentioned compression they can call it compression mammogram when they say compression mammogram they are talking about the supplementary view the compression view when they are telling spot view it means spot compression or spot compression view or cone view or focal compression views interchangeably used for compression view okay which are involving an additional compression more compression adding more effort more compression for a smaller area to make more is spread out of the breast parenchyma using smaller body smaller compression bodies, not the body that cover the whole breast covering that area of interest a smaller area to make further compression to that area and with effective pressure increase on that spot spreading the parenchyma result in more visualizations better delineation of the area of interest okay if there is any abnormality it will be more visualized if there is suspicious area of a mass or a mass it will be more delineated more characterized more appear and most of the time, usually, uh, this um, compression used for area of asymmetries, probably focal asymmetries. And the magnifications a little bit different from the compression. The magnification, here you can see in this illustration, this is the breast and this is a detector. This is the compression body. And here is the X-ray. When they are doing magnification using the same principle, take the object a little bit away from the detector and more toward the X-ray source. But this is a magnification device. You see? They put a magnification device and raise the, the, the breast away from the detectors to make it a little bit mm, magnified. And this magnification, it depends on the machines. It magnify the breast to 1.5 to two times magnification factors. Okay. And as we mentioned, there is zoom in the digital but uh, yeah, 
can be a potential benefit, but not available as we mentioned in the film screen mammography. And as you know, magnification usually used to characterize what? Most of the time used to characterize? Classification, classification. Yes, classification, but can also be used to uh, delineate small lesions, characterize it further. Okay. Architectural distortion or small mass. And the spot, when we said spot magnification, that means compression magnification, combination of com spot usually used for compression. Spot magnification, it means compression along with magnifications techniques. And here, if you can see this area of asymmetry, this is in the same 2D mammogram. Uh, this is a spot compression view. It characterizes it. There is suspicious of speculated mass. It gives it demonstrates the architectural distortion with probability of associated underlying mass, but definitely the spot compression on the 3D demonstrate definitely speculated mass lesion. A spot compression can also use in tomosynthesis, not only on fulfilled digital mammography, can also be used for the and this is our patients. When you look here for this mass, you might say this obscured mass or indistinct mass or what it may be suspicious like that. It's not well characterized on the standard view, but definitely here in the compression magnification view, you can see how the mass is irregular indistinct uh, with very lesions, distortion and edema and still of high density. Stacking signs make it more suspicious. Look for this tiny region or tiny small area you might see similar to this, similar to this, similar to this, but look on a spot magnification view. It is a mass associated with micro calcifications representing a breast cancer. Again, look here, this area of asymmetry, but spot magnification view make it difference. Okay? And mm. avoid missing early cancer. That is a cancer. Look for the calcification associated with the asymmetry, this polymorphic calcification, segmental calcification. Look for this mammography. Can you tell me any abnormality in this mammography? Can you see any abnormality in this mammogram? This is our patient. Area of asymmetry in the right breast, right to, uh, in the center of the right breast. Okay, any, uh, any other suggestion? Any calcification here? Can you see calcification? Maybe, may or may not. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Where? Yeah. Left breast. <laughs> the area. Uh huh. Who left said left breast? Arm. Who said left breast? Huda. Uh, Huda, excellent. Where in the left breast? Uh -huh. If you want view of the CC, start to get use of mammography. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if the left uh, image and the uh -huh. left breast, just retro area in the middle part of the breast, the upper. On the CC upper. or the MLO? The CC. The CC. CC. Uh -huh. CC. You see, in the CC, you cannot say upper. You will see lateral, um, medial, or posterior, anterior. Uh -huh. Middle. You mean central? Central, yeah, I mean central. 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 Excellent. You are right. You are right. And yes. the 
MLO, I couldn't find it. Yes, that is it. Segmental distributing uh, distribution polymorphic calcification. You see? Uh, mm -hmm. Upper, upper outer. You see here, central, central to outer. Because you could not see, you are talking about, it is here. It is here. You are talking about the same location, yeah? But when yeah. we draw, that is a nipple here, right? Mm. It's just out. It is outer. in the outer, central to outer positions. So mm. it was, yes, it was extensive DCIS in the left breast. Look, Yanni, just look for the uh, spot magnification view, compare it back to the standard view. Look for the difference. A really big difference, it add a lot. Uh -huh. What about this? Can you characterize this type of classifications? Can you tell me? Benign or malignant and why? Is it easy to, to characterize this type of classification? Okay, does it look the same? On a spot magnification? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Is it the same? Mm -hmm. Spot magnification is linear. Fine, linear and linear. Suspicious or benign? What do you think? I think B9. Huda? Yeah. Huda? Uh -huh. Why? Why? Why it is B9? Why it is B9? Because it's linear. Taib? Linear. Linear is B9 classification. Uh, linear. Uh, kind of suspicious, Wallahi. Linear, uh, the highest. Linear suspicious. High, high linear suspicious. is the highest. Highest uh, suspicious, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The highest suspicious when you talk about mm. the linear. Mm. You, branching, you branching. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yes. Uh -huh. mm. yeah. This is a highly suspicious. That mm. was mm. yeah, yes. okay. But some of you might say some they are telling rod type of calcification. Mm-hmm. That is why I ask, is it benign? Because before I present this case and some, they said, we'll discuss later, okay? It will not take much because this is not the subject for the for the lectures. It is just to, sh to see how magnification view okay. help us to characterize uh, classification more than. So the compression or spot magnification view improve visualization and characterization of micro classification showing the number, distribution, and shape of the classification better than the standard view, as we have seen in the previous examples. And magnification mm -hmm. demonstrate classification with sufficient clarity to confirm, is it suspicious to, to go further for biopsy or not? Do you agree? Okay. So what is latromedial? view and what is the difference of lateromedial from mediolateral view mm -hmm. what is lateromedial view the the side of the tube from the lateral ah huh? Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
هي يعني طبعاً إذا في الميديا لاترال في الميديا لاترال آه. التيوب بتكون جاية من الميديا لكن آه. في اللاترو ميديا بتكون جاية من اللاترال ساين It is a reverse It is reverse to the medial lateral We said in the medial lateral usually we put the detector along parallel to the pectoralis major you see along the pectoralis major because the breast is uh, most of the breast aligned along the pectoralis okay and the x-ray coming perpendicular to it mm. for but for when we are putting okay the 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 breast in that way usually in expense of the median extreme superior medial breast is usually out of the field of mammography because it is fixed and it is a little bit away it might not be covered by the compression bedel of the breast in this standard view and sometimes there might be a bulbable abnormality you could not see it in the mlo view as in this case, this is the MLO, and the patient having uh, a bulbable abnormality, or she might show a lesion on the CC view medial aspect not seen on MLO. Then you can do lateromedial view, as in this case here, you can see the cancer well shown in the posterior breast, because in the extreme posterior medial, this portion usually uh, missed on the MLO. You got it? And can also be used for those very kyphotic patients who are kyphotic, difficult to do the MLO. They can use, can, they can do uh, L, uh, LMO instead of MLO. And those who have pacemaker or have port, sitting in that place, they can also use the, the other, uh, put the tube in the other direction or the plate in the other direction. You got it? The detector placed against the medial breast. Can you see it here? This is a detector on the medial aspect close to the other breast and the X-ray coming from the lateral aspect, but obliquely also, okay? It is it is in oblique directions, not the same. Look for the pectoralis, it's coming obliquely. Okay. Also, it is a supplementary view because the standard view is MLO, not LMO. So the LMO is one of the standard view, not commonly used. Axillary tail, if you look here, they are just going a little bit up to cover the axillary tail and the axilla. You see? But the inferior breast is not included. Huh? What is the difference between these two images? Mm -hmm. Same breast, if you said this is same breast, what is the difference? Look for the pectoralis here and look for the pectoralis here. Okay. What do you expect to be the direction? Here we can see the direction because both are oblique. Only the direction of the X-ray difference are similar, but definitely the lateromedial cover more posterior medial breast than uh, mediolateral, which cover usually most posterior lateral breast. But this one, here the pectoral is oblique, while here the pectoral is narrow. So what do you expect? We are not aligned along the pectoralis muscles. 
We are just going lateral. Lateral. Lateromedial or mediolateral. This is straight. 90 degree lateral view. Okay. No, lateral. This, this is a lateral view. What is the difference between medial, mediolateral, oblique, and lateral view? The advantages no. and disadvantages of these views. Mm -hmm. Compared to okay. Huh? Not the angle, not the normal angle view. Okay. It could be uh -huh. just uh, the perpendicular to the breast. ومهمة uh -huh. عندنا في الكالسيفيكيشن لو شاكين ملك الكالسيوم ولا كده فإت ويل سولف ذا بروبلم إكسلنت إكسلنت بس إن ترم أوف يعني ذيس إز ون ون أدفانتجز أنذر أدفانتجز يس إت إز مور بيربنديكولار إت إن ملك أوف كالسيوم جيف مور ليفل ذان ذا إم إل أو إتس أوكي وات إلس وات إز مور أدفانتجز أوف ذا لاترال فيو And what is the disadvantage of the lateral view? The disadvantage it will not include the axillary part of the breast. What? The disadvantage. It will not include the axillary part of the breast. Excellent. Well done. Yeah, less tissue. Yeah, yes. less tissue included. Yes. The MLO mm -hmm. loses significant tissue volume in the upper outer breast. Lano Hina, we are going along the pectoralis. You see, we can see much of breast tissue in the upper outer quadrant will be missed on the lateral view, which is the statistically the most common location of the breast cancer. And that is why they recommend the MLO to be the standard mammographic view rather than. A lateral view, you mm -hmm. see, because the MLO get extra tissue without extra exposure by lying, okay, the detector obliquely rather than perpendicular, you will get more tissue, more coverage of the breast without doing additional view. But sometimes we might need to do the lateral view. Why? I, I think sometimes um, the region is seen in the MLO, but not in the CC. So they do uh, this lateral and see if it is um, downward or upward. There was a rule that the lateral sink. The and, um, location. Yeah, it needs yes. for lesion location because the lateral is orthogonal to the CC view. But the MLO is not. If you look here, the MLO is not a perpendicular to the CC view, while the lateral view is definitely 90 degree. The orthogonal view to the CC view is a lateral view, and sometimes is needed for lesion localizations. And it depends. What is the difference? Why sometimes we select to do uh, medulateral and other times select lateromedial. It depends on what. Why this one, one time this preferable over the other? We mentioned before, whenever the lesion is closer to the detector, it will be more Appreciable, yeah? Mm -hmm. we, said, we said generally the lateral view used to determine the exact locations of the lesions and for triangulation and needle localization. And the pectoral is muscle should be depicted on that, but it will be narrower, okay? At least half of the uh, mammography view, but narrower, not like on MLO, because on MLO, we are following its angle. It is, we are following its axis, I mean, but here we are not following its axis, but just you will see part of it. 
but the nibble it should be uh, in profile and we have to make sure the inframammary fold is open. And this is the lateral view. And as we mentioned, it can be mediolateral when the detector on the lateral aspect, like the mediolateral oblique, but here it is just up, down, straight, okay, 90 degree. The X-ray coming perpendicular, 90 degree. Uh, but in the lateral medial, the X-ray coming from the lateral aspect and the detector will be in the valley here on the medial aspect of the breast. It depends on the lesion. If the lesions uh -huh, in the central or lateral aspect of the breast will do mediolateral. If the lesion on the medial breast, we recommend lateromedial to be close to the detectors. Okay, take an example. This is uh -huh, uh, um, asymmetry on the CC view in a patient. Huh? What? More clarification, just the views, lateral, medial, medial, lateral, just more clarification okay. on medial okay. and lateral, medial. Okay. And uh, the detector where and the... Uh... Uh, yes, uh, usually, usually it depends on the X-ray, the direction of the X-ray. Alas, X-ray. The X-ray coming from the medial aspect, it will be medial lateral. The detector will be lateral. Okay, as you know, like like mm -hmm. like uh, dorsal medial, outdoor uh, like like AB OPA of the chest. When the, the X ray coming from where? For BA, BA, the, com, the X ray coming from back. That is why it is BA. For, for the AB, the X ray coming from the A, so from the anterior. Here it is the same. If the X ray coming from the medial aspect going to the lateral, this is mediolateral. The detector, it will be lateral, like mediolateral oblique. The mediolateral oblique, the detector is laterally placed along the pectoralis. But for the mediolateral, uh, without obliquity, it will be straight. It will be just up down with straight. You see? Uh, and the X-ray, the, the X-ray, the blade, compression blade, it will come from the medial aspect, compressing the breast from medial to the lateral. And in this case, usually we are looking for a lesion on the lateral aspect or in the central breast or the lateral breast. So it has to be in close uh, proximity to the detector. Is it clear? While the reverse the lesion medially, we need the detector to be close to the lesion. We'll bring the detector on the medial aspect and the X-ray will come from lateral to medial. Uh, what about the direction of X-ray in uh, lateral view? But these are lateral view. These both are lateral view. But differ medium from lateral medium is, from when we said lateral. lateral view, lateral view it can be mediolateral, it can be lateral medial. Okay. When we said lateral, this is a lateral view, but it depends the lateral view, mediolateral or lateral medial. If the lesion on the medial, then it will we 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 prefer the detector to be close to the lesions a detector. It will be medially. That lateral means medial. the X-ray will come from the lateral. It will be lateral medial. Okay. And the reverse. You got it? Yes, thank you. Uh -huh. What about this case? 
This is asymmetry on the CC view. Could not be appreciated on MLO. The patient all having risk factors. Probability of cancer is high. What is next? Mm -hmm. Supplementary view. We have to do supplementary view. What is next supplementary view? Lateral medial view. Lateral. Lateral medial view. Lateral medial, yes. Lateral medial. Excellent. Excellent. Before lateral medial, we can do spot magnification. Make sure yeah, to characterize it further. Is it fade away or it persists? Then okay. we'll go for lateral medial. We expect the lesion to be on the, the medial medium. aspect. Lateral. Yes, this is the lateral view. Uh, this is he usually we are saying lateral, lateral view. But uh, since the lesion here, to make it clear, we'll go for the lateral, lateral medial. This is the lateral medial, you can see. Now we call it asymmetry. No, a mass. Now here. It, is, it is a mass. This is a mass. Yes. A small mass. This is a spot performed before the lateral view, demonstrate even speculated, tiny, dense. You see, it become more dense even here, more clear, more dense, and the margins start to appear to be, and it was infiltrating, uh, small infiltrating ductal carcinoma. And as you mentioned, Before, look here, where do you expect to be on MLO? Okay, let me go further, not to confuse you more, we'll see it. This is another example. The patient having a lesion here was not seen in the other standard view, and what is this view? What is one, what is two? Mm -hmm. uh, one and maybe lateral or tan extended lateral. Excellent. Well done. Why you said extended lateral? Ma huwa kanat tchafat fi l'MLO ma tchafat fi CC. Yes. Why the extended lateral? Yes, you are right. This yeah. is lateral view. Uh, it is a created or extended lateral view. But I can uh, see here no. the lateral view, mm -hmm. CC view, but going more posterior, asymmetric, more lateral aspect, more posterior aspect. And the extended uh, lateral usually and the MLO, a posterior, extreme posterior lesion or MLO definitely is not a medial one. As we described before, we said that posterior medial lesion usually missed on MLO. But the posterior lateral usually seen on MLO. But it can be missed or most of the time missed on the CC view. That is why you might need to go further and to like extended lateral view. Uh -huh. Who is going to read this case? straightforward mm -hmm. so this is standard view the arrow pointing to focal mm -hmm. asymmetry on where exactly at auxiliary 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 now us Are you there? Or she left? Uh huh. Quickly, Allah is above. Apex of the parenchyma. Uh huh. At the apex, at the apex of the parenchyma, you have a lesion here. Could not be appreciated. So expected 
at the apex of the parenchyma. The apex of the parenchyma usually toward toward the axillary the axilla. there. Yeah, exactly. And exactly. this is what we said. These areas are usually picked on MLO, but missed on the CC view. So on a, this, which, which view this? It is obvious here from this paddle. Mm -hmm. Combination. It's both combustion. combustion. Yes, this is both combustion. combustion. Now it, it, it is more, more like a mass. The lesions. So, what is this part of extended, extended lateral. medial or extended lateral? Extended lateral. Extended lateral. Yes. So, this is extended lateral view because the lesion is posterior is not seen here because it is at the apex of the parenchyma at the extreme posterior cut. It is cut at this level here. It is cut. Going more and more for the lateral aspect, we can see. Huh? What about this? This is a CC view and MLO view. Where do you expect? And this spot magnifications. Yes. Spot magnification. The lesion here, appreciable here on the spot magnification but could not be seen here, is a real lesion. Mm -hmm. So what do you expect where MLO, extreme posterior, projecting over the pectoralis, expect it to be? Orto posterior lateral. Posterior lateral. Next, it will be? The extended lateral. Extended, extended lateral. lateral. So this, it will be? Mm -hmm. This is, extended, extended, lateral. this is extended lateral. Is it clear? Yes. So what is the extended lateral? What is the extended lateral? Is it an MLO view? Or a CC view? Modify it from MLO or from a CC view? Or a lateral view? What is the extended lateral? Lateral view. You mean you mean type we said the lateral view view before. We mentioned the lateral view. We mentioned it already. CC from CC view. You see here the pectoral is CC view. You look here. This is the standard CC view. But look pulling what? More going to port the lateral aspect, okay? Pulling the lateral aspect and take the detectors uh, more, more laterally and more posteriorly in the same direction as the CC view. The X-ray coming from up going and the detector down is a CC view. It is a CC view going, uh, taking Lateral. the breast, taking Lateral. the axillary tail, Okay, mm -hmm. into the detector, covering okay. the most lateral and posterior aspect. They call it axillary view and also call it Cleopatra view. And this is one of the most common additional view, like the spot compression view. We use it in the practice. Because why? Why? Because of what? This is a common location of breast cancer. The common location for the breast cancer. Yeah, apical lesion. And you might see, because you are going toward the axillary tail, toward the pectoralis, you might see the pectoralis here. Don't, okay. when you look at it, don't say this is, you see, MLO oh, no. view or lateral mm -hmm. view. This is extended lateral view, but because you go, look, this is a CC view. And the posterior aspect is cut. The apex of the parenchyma is cut. But going more toward the lateral view, you cover the whole parenchyma on the posterior lateral aspect where the common location for the breast cancer. And what about this one? Mm -hmm. This is 
ده فالي فيو كليفج فيو ار فالي فيو فالي اور كليفج فيو يا ات كان بي كليفج بس If you could not see the whole press, it can be valid view. But there is another name. This is not the whole press. The other press is not involved. Just going more medial. Uh -huh. Same principle as the previous extended one. Medial. Instead, mm -hmm. Extended medial view. And instead of going, mm -hmm. look here. Instead of going more toward lateral, going more toward medial, and because this is in close proximity, is coming. Mm, appears. But here, the concentration on this side. This is the extended, medial extended, just to cover the extreme medial uh, lesions. Not as common as the extended lateral, because not a common place. Or for 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 cancer, and here you can see this is the extended, this is the extended lateral, and this is the extended medial. This is a standard CC, standard CC. Look here, extended lateral going where? This is the nipple. So, see the plate going more toward the lateral. lateral. I look for this spot where. This is the X-ray going more lateral, while here the medial. the plate going pulling forward the medial aspect, and the X-ray coming where the center on onto the medial aspect. Mm -hmm. Look here more. This is the cleavage of the breast and the body. The compression more medial, while mm -hmm. here look this is the cleavage pre lateral. Yeah, because going more, more lateral. Lateral, yes. Yeah. And this one, in this one place. Yes, this is the cleavage. This is the cleavage. This is, is the, cleavage. Uh, the, the center. Mm -hmm. This is the Standard cleavage. Valley. So also to visualize the extreme medial press. And this is the position for the cleavage. OK? And usually for the extreme posterior medial aspect of the breast or central breast, okay? And with this view. Tangential view of the skin. Excellent. Excellent. This is a tangential view. Uh, tangential view. It's okay. We are doing for what, so here? For transition uh, to skin lesion. Skin. Okay. Uh, what is the difference here between these three images? And what are these images? What is this uh, view? Mm -hmm. Huda is not there. She left. Huda in Sudan. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, yeah. What is this view, Huda? It is obvious this is zoom view or spot view oblique. This is CC, but what about this one? And what does it represent? The last oh, one is tangential. Magnification view. Who will be assuming the skin tangential? Tangential. Excellent. Who said tangential? Sumaya. Excellent, Sumaya. This is tangential view, but why does it appear like this? This is what?
Classification in the skin. Yes. Why mm. does it appear like this here? And what is a sign? Uh, the question again. If if we close this tangential view, okay. Look at this at the oblique and CC view. Can you suggest this to be an skin calcification or not? And why? Any suggestion, any volunteer? Surrounded by uh, radiolucency or uh, something? No, 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 uh -huh. Okay, to make use of time. Do you know or not? Not. Do you hear about tattoo sign? No. Any of you? Tattoo? What is the tattoo <laughs> sign? Tattoo sign of skin calcification. What do you expect if if this to if it is a parenchymal calcification? If it is in the breast. Look for this calcification as it if, as if it is copy paste. Do you agree? Yes. In the CC view and MLO, as if it is copy paste, it has the same orientation, same appearance. Doesn't change. This is a tattoo sign because it is a skin lesion. If it is parenchymal lesion, it will be mobile. It will move. It will change the direction. Okay. Expect it to change the directions and it will have different configurations. This is the tattoo signs. The calcification, the orientation is fixed because it is the skin. And when you find the tattoo signs, it is a bira too, it is a skin. But to make sure it is really a skin, they can do the tangential view. Okay, let us go here, huh? Quickly. This patient having bulbable abnormality. Can you see any? Can you see any lesion here? And what is this opaque triangular structure? Mm -hmm. Any volunteer? Do you hear me? That's okay. What is this triangular structure? What does it indicate? The site of the phantom of the lip. Uh, yes, this is a site. What, what, what do you call it? What do you call it? Site of what? She said the site the... of bulbable abnormality. But mm. why, why, yeah. why you can see this yeah. type of structure? What does it indicate? What do you call it? Yeah, marker. 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 Marker, yeah. marker where? Mm. At, at which location we put it? At Inside where or they out? feel the abnormality, but they don't, but they don't At, see it in mammogram. We we fix it where? I will come. Ali skin, so we call it. Skin, skin marks. Skin marker. Uh, mm -hmm. yes. So, this is skin marks type. How does it help us? We can use it for bulb. Can you see an abnormality here? Any satil, any satil. There is possible abnormality. Do you suspect this patient having a lump or no? Having mass or no? Yes. Uh, what is a what is a mass? 
مور لو هي لوسن في اوفر لاين ذا Look for the effect on the pectoralis. Look for the mass effect. Yeah. You see? Here I'm it is subtle. Mm -hmm. Here like it is subtle. Yeah. But in this view, it's more clear. Okay? So the use of these marks is, we call it skin markers. Okay? We use it in such case like a lump. These are different markers, skin, skin markers. Can use it for nipple, moles, scar, bulbable abnormality, or area of concern, not necessarily to be bulbable. She might have localized tenderness or localized pain, okay? This pain is non-cyclic, persisting like that. They can put a marker to see if there is any underlying Uh, subtle abnormality and the use of these markers is the best practice for for mammography we have to use it it will improve our practice okay uh, it improves communication reduce a, a viewing time and potential for uh, a retakes here you know that where the bulb of normality instead of She might be there, palpable normality, or here or there. In this fatty breast and the lesion is loosened, look exactly where the palpable abnormality and looking for the uh, uh, side effect or, or mass effect of the lesions. So it is just a lipoma, okay? And even nowadays, they are making skin marker, especially skin markers for tomosensis like this and we have to differentiate it from breast tissue markers what is the difference what is the difference of skin markers from breast tissue markers can you tell a breast anybody? tissue marker a breast tissue uh -huh. marker for example they want to take a sample any biopsy so they they put the marker but then they take image to ensure that it is within the legion and then they usually take, yeah, take it, a biopsy it, take it, a biopsy and putting a marks usually you see that this is a, yeah mm. they are putting inside the breast ah. tissue inside the lesion either after biopsy or if the lesions if the if they are going to take to 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 give the patient chemotherapy For example, new adjuvant chemotherapy, and that lesion mm -hmm. might before disappear. surgery mm -hmm. to localize very small. So the presence of that it will guide later to put a wire for a surgeon to remove that area. Okay, or to utilize it also for subsequent radiotherapy treatment. So this is. And there are also different shapes like coil, drapon, and so forth. Uh huh. Can you tell me about this image? What is what is going on in this image? What is that lesions? Uh huh. The nipple. Who said the nipple? Be confident. Yes, and a hint. Become hesitant. Yes, then it will. Mm. Why? Why? Yeah. You said confident. I want to say that there is a lot of radiolucent area with the marker of the nipple. The nipple mark. The nipple marker. The nipple marker. The nipple marker. The nipple marker. This is why we need to put the markers. So as not to waste the time. This is a this is a markers. This is the nipple. 
we have to look for the other view. Look, the marker here, and that is a nipple, and this area is not visualized here. So this is confidently guide us this to is the nipple. Yeah. The nipple. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. avoid misinterpretation. You see how it is useful? We have to use it. By these markers, we are confidently knowing the exact location of the in nipples. Eliminate guesswork. Okay? And uh, yeah, I mean, a quick assessment and interpretations. And as you know, they have to ensure to put the nipple in profile, but sometimes it might roll in if the patient is obese or not comfortable. It might roll in and there is a breast coming within the breast as in this case. There is no marker here. So you might be in trouble. Here they correct it. Look here, they correct, they put it out and coming here out, but here because it rolled, okay, and there is a press, so it become out of profile. So the markers help us to provide visualization and documentation for location of the nipple. And look here, how does it help us, the nipple marker? We could not see the nipple exactly, but we could see the markers. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. what we call the, it, what the posterior, posterior line. Nipple, nipple line. So is it optimum CC? No, no because the nipple, no. the nipple is not centered. It should be position centered. The nipple here is tilting laterally. So it can help us also to make sure it is indicative or of uncaptured yani uh, that this this position indicate that some of the breast tissue is not included in this image by this marker we could appreciate the the nipple locations and direct us to make sure evaluation for this because on the cc view we have not a lot of ma yani anatomical uh, landmarks yeah. and from the start presence yeah. of the nipple markers you see this is a nipple markers help technologies okay to position properly position the the the, the breast she can see it here and it can help her to put the breast in a proper position and these some types of nipple marks you see, here, this is nipple marks, this flattened nipple, but here, this is everted nipples. But it depends. The nipple from one person to the another is different. Each breast is unique. Not all nipples are the, at the same place. You see, there are variations. And even, even for the same person, from one mammogram might be different from the others. It depends on the positioning. And presence of these markers help us to make easy communications uh, um, and help the radiologist to for accurate ear-to-ear -ear analysis. Because from one mammogram to another mammogram, you might see at different locations the, the nipples. You see? So it provides visualization documentation of uh, inverted or flat nipples or change in nipple locations. Uh, if, if the patient having prior surgery, for those having reduction, mammoplasty, the nipple position it will be changed. It will, might not be well visualized. By putting the, the markers, you will be easy to see the location of the nipple. So it will act as a reliable landmark for nipple location uh, and also for the measurements between uh, an, uh, a lesions to the nipple, okay? It will be easy for you 
to measure the distance of any lesions to the nipple where, wherever the nipple is located. And more importantly, also help in triangulations. The location of abnormality, okay, for additional imaging, uh, for further workup. Can you see here? Can you tell me the nipple where? Gunna, a nipple not always identifiable. Every breast is unique. To avoid misinterpretation of inverted or rolled in nipple as retroareolar mass or the reverse, a mass as an inverted nipple, the presence of the markers, it will guide us. Can you show the nipples in this case? In the center of the breast, this breast is rolled. The nipple is rolled down. Can you see it here? Even not yes. in on MLO. In MLO and on CC. Look how it's, the nipple coming where? In the these center the of the breast. You see, these are the nipples here. So these marks, not always it will be like this. It will, you can see it very clearly in both sides. Sometimes it occurs in one side in a single view. So it will put you in a dilemma. Is it a lesion or is it a, a nipple? But with the presence of markers, will help up to distinguish. Is it a breast tissue or is it a nipple or is it a lesion? And this definitely will help to reduce the call back. Uh -huh. What is the difference between these two image? Mm -hmm. Let us go quick. Still, most of the lecture is there. Still, we have the, a lot of the technique you use. Hmm? Who's talking? For imaging the press. Hint. What did you say? The eggplant. The first one is. Excellent. You are right. Okay. Uh huh. What about this one? Okay. Okay. What about this one? What is the difference? So, Maya, what is the difference between these two images? The MLA is not adequate. Okay, not adequate. Hint, what is the difference between these two images? Oh, but in colitic or or the breast is not equal. Okay, okay. I'm talking about this and this one. This is CC and MLO. And what about this? Any suggestion? The right breast more uh, gondolas. Type what is this? Okay. Uh -huh. What is the difference? Uh, the difference? I will go back. Because all are more or less the same. Huh? What about this uh, image? Hint. What is the difference between this and this one? طيب 
What is this? Uh -huh. طيب. Is it, is it clear now? The difference between two these two image? No. أنا شايف في الدفرس من ناحية التكنيك يعني. ما ما أسكي this lecture about the technique. أي ما هنا مستخدمين الأكلاند تكنيك إنهم they pull the breast. Yes, tell them what is the eclan technique. They they push the breast anteriorly. يعني and the and the implant posteriorly. The other name for eclan technique. Okay. It is the implant displaced views. If you look here, for, for any ladies having implant, they will do an implant in, in its place without just making just some compression, uh, considering the presence of implant, though it's not to rupture. An implant in its place without pulling or pushing the implant. Okay? MLO and CC. And again, for each breast, coming and repeat the same views by pushing the implant inside and pulling the parenchyma to visualize the breast tissue, the maximum breast tissue. If we go back to uh, Sumaya, she said here the same name, eclant. The eclant, this is the same. This is the same. But because they are pushing the implant inside, pulling the parenchyma, this is the parenchyma, it will not appear as the usual regular press without implant. This is the, is the MLO of this mammogram. Here, this is the visualized part of the parenchyma. This is part of the implant pushed here. And the other one is not visualized. This is the breast. This is the implant displaced view. This is implant in, in the same place. Here, this is the same. This is a CC view. The implant not visualized at all. The only visualized part of the parenchyma could be uh, seen. And there is some lesion here. On the MLO, you see, this is the MLO. They push the implant. Also, this is the visualized part of the parenchyma. And this part of the lesion is seen here. You see? So we could visualize. If we go back to the implant in place, we could see nothing. But by pushing the implant, we could visualize these lesions. And these lesions, you see? It is here on the CC view. That is the one. Okay. And this is on ultrasound. It was uh, intramammary lymph node. You got it? This is an implant. I will show it again. Here. Can you see it here? This is yes. the implant in its place. And here the implant is pushed inside. They will take uh, emig like this, and they will take emig like this for each breast. On MLO, on CC view, we call it, and this is a, both the implant displaced views. This is the MLO, and this is the CC. You can see here, the implant is retro vectoral. This is the vectoralis muscle, and the implant posterior to the muscle. You see. And usually when it is retrovectoral, it is more easier uh, to be pushed and to do, to visualize maximum. Here you can see almost the whole parenchyma and maximum parenchyma visualized on MLO. And what are these? Uh -huh. the marker. Marker. Evil marker. Okay. So this is Sumaya. Look, implant displays or eclant views. Okay. يعني اللي ترى رباب في كل ال يعني لازم يكون عندنا age views في النهاية صح؟ Yes, for each breast, for each breast, you will do 
implant in place and implant displays CC okay. mm -hmm. CC2 MLO2 for each breast. You will end by eight views for two breasts. Okay. So you have four extra pictures or four extra views performed. And this is the eclant view. Okay? It will be like, like this. I'll show it to you. Here, this is the implant. You will pull the parenchyma and push the implant like this. This is the implant pu pushed path the chest wall and pull the parenchyma pull away from the implant. Sometimes it will be difficult, especially if the capsular uh, reactions or fibrosis and this issue, it will make it difficult. And retroglandular is, really, is also difficult, but retropectoral is more easier. Plus, you will make it like this. Manipulations, pull, Push and pull, push and pull. Here, you see, you start to make it the plate, compression plate down, pulling, pushing, pulling, okay? And implant displays back. Displays the implant back whenever, yani, as a maximum, as you pull, you push the implant away from the compression plate, it will be easier, more easier, okay, to compress the breast. You got it? The implant out of the compression plate, so it will be more easy and you will allow optimum compression of the breast tissue. And the parenchyma, it will be anterior. This is the implant displaced view. Is it clear? It increase the breast tissue. They said for subglandular, you might see up to uh, 56 to 64 of glandular uh, placement of implant. For the submuscular, it will be more. It will be up to 85%. Do you like to continue or to stop here? We are going for diagnostic quality. Better to stop. Who suggests to stop? Sarah Maki suggests to stop. Okay. I said that. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Taib. Uh, actually, actually, I divided into two, two lectures. Now it will be, might be four lectures, or at least at least three lectures. Uh, for me, <laughs> also. <laughs> yes. Is that, that is why that is why I divide. That is why I divide mm -hmm. because for those for those uh, supplementary views of asymmetries, I just remove it to the second lecture. And it's still, it's still, we have a lot of any. I don't know to rearrange, make rearrangement. Next time to continue about the, the views and then the quality to make it different lectures. Also, it will be heavy, but yani, we have to. From where I have to stop recording. Come on, the option. The upper left.